Hello and welcome to another episode of Science 9 Crash Courses. In this episode, we're going to talk about humans and their impact on the environment, and also the extinction of species. In the last 600 million years, there have been five major declines in the Earth's biodiversity. Over the history of the Earth, extinctions have occurred at a rate of about one species per year. However, it is estimated that today we are losing up to 70 species per day. You're probably thinking, how is it possible for us to lose 70 species per day? Well, most of the time people think of extinction and endangered species as large mammals. But in fact, most of the organisms on this earth are actually insects and smaller creatures. More than one million different species of insects have been identified. However, some experts believe that it might be as many as 30 million. So is the earth experiencing its sixth major extinction? Perhaps. But there is a difference between all the other extinctions and this one. This one seems to have been caused by humans. Humans can have a major influence on the environment. Our global population is increasing faster than it has ever before. New methods of farming, better treatment of diseases have reduced infant deaths and allowed us to live longer. Many scientists believe that increasing greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane are contributing to warmer global temperatures. Also, many forested areas are being cleared for farming to supply the world with enough food. Much of this land are rainforests, which house thousands of species. It is estimated that the Amazon rainforest would be reduced by 40% in just two decades. And many human activities have also increased the pollution both in the atmosphere and on the earth. The countries in the world that are hit the hardest are developing nations, because their population growth is so much higher than developed nations like Canada. And humans in the past have had a major influence on the ecosystems. For example, about 10,000 years ago, it is thought that the woolly mammoth was hunted to extinction. And also in the late 19th century in eastern North America, hunters killed 5 billion passenger pigeons. It went from the most abundant bird in the world to extinction in about 100 years. Up to this point, we have only talked about extinction. Extirpation is also just as important. Extirpation is the removal of an organism from a specific geographical area. So how can we know as humans if we have affected an ecosystem? A bioindicator species is a species that allows us to determine how damaged an ecosystem is by its abundance. There are many different types of bioindicators throughout the world, but a more common one in Alberta is the grizzly bear. In past years, the population of grizzlies has declined, but in more recent years, the grizzly bear population is rising again. This is the conclusion to this crash course. Thanks for listening.